Welcome back to Daytime, presented by California Closets. Robert Irvine has become a household name thanks to his wildly successful Food Network show, Restaurant Impossible. Well, now he is visiting some of the restaurants he's helped in the past to help them get through these uncharted waters during this pandemic. Chef Robert Irvine joins us now to talk about Restaurant Impossible back in business. And you are back in business on the road again, aren't you, Robert? I am, Cindy. Thanks so much for having me and, and uh, chatting about this exciting project. And I have to tell you, um, Restaurant Impossible has been doing amazing 17 seasons, but back in business is raw, real, emotional. Um, it's it's going to take you on the wildest ride ever. We're going back to our Restaurant Impossible families that we've already visited and they've closed down due to the pandemic. You know, if, if you think about Restaurant Impossible, it's normally their fault that, that their business is suffering. Mm. Um, this time, it's not their fault. It's a, a worldwide pandemic. And we are there to bring them out of that, bring them back to business, get them back to success based on all the new protocols, the new financials, the new menus, um, the new social distancing, all those things that we, we've heard about for the last four months, uh, we're putting into action into their restaurants and into our production. Well, Restaurant Impossible, it's called Impossible for a reason, but it's not impossible. So tell us about how people actually can get through this now. This pandemic has changed everything, especially for the restaurant industry. Yeah, and we're talking about 30 to 40% um, of already lost restaurants in this country, um, both national chains and small mom and pops. So the advice I'm giving only on the show, but also in my real world of helping folks is, Listen, we got to pivot. We got to, first of all, stay in the buildings we're in. So how do we do that? We have to go to our landlords, our banks, our lenders, whoever that is, and say, hey, we're not going out of business as long as you help us stay in business. Put the, the, the rent, the mortgage, whatever else on the back end, and, and we'll catch up to you. In that case, then we can say, well, we can pivot. We can open stores in the restaurants. We can get contracts um, with, with um, local governments to feed um, whoever, old mm. people, uh, old age pensioners, um, uh, governmental bodies, all those kind of things. We can look at menu changes. Remember, we may have done A before the pandemic, but now we've got to listen to our customers and say, hey, we want roast chicken and mashed potatoes. We want pizza. We want burgers. Whatever <laughs> it is, we have to adapt to and change and not be so um, um, egotistical, right? The God. restaurants have to turn around and say, Okay, we'll bend, we'll shape, we'll do whatever. And by the way, we put protocols in place to make you, the consumer, feel safe. Yeah, it's really a matter of survival at this point. So you're right, put the ego aside and, and give the people what they want. What would you say to somebody who's even considering, and, and I'm sure there are a few out there, opening a restaurant during this time? Well, I have to tell you, um, obviously the restaurants are suffering. Um, Franchises are suffering. There's going to be a lot of empty buildings uh, going cheap for sure. Um, I would suggest that before you think about a restaurant, you, you stop, think about putting six months of your total revenue generation. So if you think you're going to make a million dollars, put it in the bank. If you think you're going to, it's going to cost you two million to do it, put it in the bank. And if three months from now you still feel the same, then it might be able to put your money into a restaurant. But I have to tell you, um, we, we're going to lose a lot of restaurants, and that means a lot of unemployment. That means a lot of great chefs and great servers and barbacks and busboys. Um, there's going to be an abundance of, of um, labor out there. So I would suggest not now. One of the things I love about the back in business is it doesn't matter what business you're in, whether you're in a, a garage, whether you're in a retail store, whether you're in a doctor's office, the, the information is the same information you need to be successful. And right after back in business, we have an after show where the directors, producers, um, the, the designers, the builders all get to talk about the show we've just done that is so emotional, not only for the restaurant owners, but also for the crew. You know, we've gone from 35 people and 100 volunteers doing Restaurant Impossible to 12 people on a bus or two buses i should say like six on each bus all the COVID testing all all the safety procedures uh, in place uh, we have our own health and, and safety expert on the on the crew to make sure that we're doing what we're supposed to do which in turn doesn't allow that many people in the restaurant so we got to be really smart about how do we find 
um, different sources of revenue okay. when they've closed the restaurant seating down. Right. I have to wrap it there. Robert Irvine, always good to talk to you. Uh, stay safe on the road, okay? Again, the Restaurant Impossible back in business on Food Network. Thank you so much for your time. Thanks, Cindy. Take care. See you soon. You too. Bye-bye.